so we need to get out of the hall of the financial hall because well the main reason why you don't want to be out of money is well for once you don't want to not have money to fight wars and on the other hand you also don't want to be out of money for a while because after a time there's going to be robbers setting up in your county because you can't pay police or rather the constabulary I don't think police was actually a thing back then uh, it was more like the city watch or you know all right so we've killed another target uh, our main competitor is still in hiding which makes it a bit more difficult to get them uh, but we could put in like 10 to the campaign fund and see if we pull ahead but it doesn't look like it he's 41 we are 29 so we are very likely to outlive this man let's check on our kids here one of these needs to grow up so we can put them ahead Otherwise, we're going to lose all things, except for our palace. Who are you? I do not care. Become something. <clears throat> and she became timid. Now, since we are not really doing anything... Oh, how do we get Ducal Conquests? Interesting. I mean, I know that we can't seize this, but... How are we a pretender to this? Huh. And we can't afford these. We can't afford this one. But we can't go to war because we have a truce with him. As you can see right here. However, the truce is with this person. Not his heir. Not anyone else. So we might try our luck and see if we can't kill him to be able to declare war soon again. I think we're still trying to seduce someone because we certainly can't seduce her. Oh no, she... Patrician Hakan died. All right. Let's try and kill this guy then. Since I don't think we're going to get enough people to do anything much here. I don't care, he can become fussy. Don't you dare attack my city people. I'm having an eye on this. Sort of. <clears throat> and another plan to kill someone approved. Let's see how many people we have already taken out. Six, it feels like more. But they're all patricians. And I don't think anyone has figured it out yet. Oh no, we are a known murderer. Okay. Yeah, well. Right, so she has let it slip. Uh, we could imprison her, but... Or would we? She loves us. Most important thing and someone fairly strong followed up so we have to kill him too <clears throat> you have a wife let's invite her to court so we can court her and he only has boys Why can I not seduce this woman? Option isn't even there. Very interesting. 99.5%. We can we can do better. Okay, she has refused our seduction. Is this one of the good ones? Yes, he is one of the good ones. 
Do we want to make him cruel? No, we would become cruel. No, no. He'd rather lose some prestige. Oh, he lost the prestige. That was not smart. See, this is why you read these things. Don't just click on buttons like I do. That's just the wrong way of going about things. This war was swift, it looks like. No idea who that is. But we can seduce his late wife. Is he a commander? No. Oh, now our plot is revealed. What a shame. Now people will know. War of Independence. We can't because why not? He has hostages. Why does he have hostages? Probably some marriages. Meet us by the stream, girl. And you are a bit ugly, but you're brave and honest, so love. There we go. Don't be fooled, I don't know if these work. It's kinda just... <laughs> I wonder and then I try, and then things happen. And we declare war against her. No. What are you even fighting over? What is this about? Increased council power. Ah, oh, yeah. That's okay. Our quick daughter. The lover pregnant. Oh, look. Oh, no. the, the guy we're trying to kill is joining us in trying to kill this man. I mean, he doesn't know yet that we're trying to kill him, but... I'm going to save up for the palace upgrade. Could also invest in some more city stuff. <clears throat> okay, he wants us to pay gold or something or the trade post is destroyed and we're going to be pointing out all that wealth we're bringing in. Come on now, don't be silly. I really want to build a garrison here. I just want to upgrade everything, but we have to be patient so we can upgrade more things. Now, one thing I didn't look into, we are Swedish. We can raid overseas with ships and we can raise runestones until sometime. So let's, let's put this to a test, shall we? Let's put this to a test. We're going to raise our vassal levies and our vassal levy ships. We're going to... No, we're not allowed to loot. So, no raiding for us. It's a bit of a shame. Would have made our money woes a little bit easier. <clears throat> right. See how the trade zones are looking up here. Gotland. Dominating the Baltic Sea. How many trade posts can we have? Three out of three. Good on that. How is this guy not yet, not dead yet? And how did he just jump ahead so hard? Hundred gold. Doesn't have a lot of prestige. Where is all this respect coming from? Uh, mainly the... A oh, he has a lot of campaign funds. Okay, so we get this guy here. As a military servant. Very good. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, let's try and take out this enemy spy master trying to figure out things about the place. And we can set up a new commander. Oh, look, now they are available. Yeah, these are all three that were presented to us as good commanders. Let's put these up as such. Can be our court tutor. Which child needs direction? You? Why haven't you been raised on thriftiness? Everybody's just going to be thrifty. Um, let's send him to intrigue. Not all that important. So of course we could boost our own candidate a little bit. Probably not the worst idea. Let's put a hundred on him. If you hold shift and click then it goes with modifiers there. So we have 1,000, no, 700 from, from campaign funds. So uh, it looks like every 10 gold is 50 for respect. Ah, we lost some money. I'm just not willing to take chances right now. Uh, we have some troops here. Let's stand these down. Why do we have troops up there? I don't know if this is mine. Is it? Do not see the reason why we would why we would have anyone there, but hey, this guy is still alive. Or betroth to my girl. We still have an alliance. Yes. And again, we were outbid. Put up a bit more. Gotland prospers. Just to increase the difference between the two a bit. But really, I'm just waiting for this to happen. Can't send him a gift because he's pretty rich, so he needs big gifts, even though he doesn't have a high standing himself. He has lots of money because we pay him lots of money. I don't exactly know how he gets 19 gold from what. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're paying. Oh. Apparently we are paying 24 gold each. That, no, that's a different rebellion. That's going on up there. Germanic uprising. That's probably some peasants or something about religion. people the kind join us we could switch away from intrigue or rather from seduction to something else we could go for scholarship allowing us to write a book and writing books is pretty good especially early on so Why do we not have a successor nominated? Okay. The Bishopric of Roma. Excuse me? What?
Okay, so there's this bishopric here. Which we get to nominate a successor for. Alright. Could nominate our steward. Why not? Are we an elector? Now. We don't get to vote here. Can I do something with these? I can upgrade them for them. Not a very attractive prospect. Hmm. So how do we speed this along? What? Our lover is not helping us here? Yeah, interesting. Right, okay. So we're 32. There's still a little bit of time left for us. We can't write a book because we're stupid. So I think we're going to go for scholarship for a while. And we shall go ahead and write a book. Which we don't... There we go. It costs us a whole lot of money. And it puts us back again. But... We will write about managing a realm based on our stewardship skill. And we will also build an observatory. Putting us way back into the hole. But it will be fine, trust me. We we'll also search for a smith, but I think they do take a little bit more than what we can offer right now. And there we go! Already our dear steward brought back some of the money that we just spent. That's great. He's one of the strong ones. He's 12. Hmm. He's fairly good at intrigue. Let's push him towards that. Already has a decent starting point there. And this one comes more after me, but he's also very prone towards this. Let's put him for stewardship. He'll turn out some way. And I am quite sorry to say, but we are not going to fund any medical research at this point in time. Which will probably be a problematic decision at some point. Let's make it an even 200 here. Campaign funds. Um, peasants. Supply limit. Prosperity increase. Now, we will spend the money elsewhere. Why do you have so... I mean... If I see this correctly, you basically have to divide this by... No. We have a thousand. Yeah. So 10 golds, 50. But I'm really bad at the math, so... Uh, slightly taxed focus bulk hair. Sure, why not? He is in quite the wars. Oh, wow. That Germanic uprising has gotten a little bit out of hand, it looks like. Oh, wow. But look at that. Actually holding his own. I mean, he's, he's losing still, but I was quite impressive. All the amount of troops he faced. Torben. They are our main competitors. We need to take them out. Quickly now. Quickly. I like to go back and check just to make sure I didn't miss anyone willing to help.
You're one of the good ones? Yes. So you should... He might become kind. Be the one with the intrigue focus? Yeah. Let's make him zealous. Doesn't really help him, but it also doesn't hurt him as much as being kind. And again, we were outbid, but we have money too, my friend. We does match us. I mean it. Really, really do. There's still some time for us to take care of this. What do you want? Yes, owe me a favor. Okay, so we have two options here. If we follow the bottom line, we might get the Necronomicon at the end, I think. And this one here gives us more military power and stuff. We'll go with the uh, Holy the Stars move chain. And we'll get some basic standard technology out of it. Speaking of which, where are we at with this? Cities. Doesn't really matter yet. I don't think we were defeated. Our king was defeated. Oh dear liege. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, nope. I want to build our upgrade here. We're almost there. I'm not gonna spend a dime on anything else but this. More levy, plus 20%. Trade post limit, plus 3. Yes, please and thank you. I will definitely spend all our gold on this one. Especially the plus 6 tax, that's just... That's just fantastic stuff. You don't get anything like that outside of the palace. Now, one thing that I do wonder about... Let's check our taxation, because that's something I never really considered here. Who is paying us tax? Low opinion. 98% attrition. I know we become fat after all. Right, so he's only at minus 2, so... Let's assign him to be a guardian of one of our random kids. This boy. Can't assign him because he's probably because he's in hiding. Okay, do we become diligent or not? No, we do not. Because it might be worthwhile to keep these boys a little bit more happy, so they pay us more tax, so we become richer. But I'm not entirely certain if that is a good gambit or not. Let's check our own succession here. Oh, he's shrewd. That's good. That's a really, really good trait to have. But strong is better because it gives plus one health, and that is something you can hardly... As you know, vassal opinion, That's, this, this is just one of the best traits you can have in this game. I do tend to try and get someone who's strong. Say yes. It looks like Tortil Botsteinsson will be our primary option for air. Yes, we approve the plan and look at that. Someone broke free. Do not have a valid cast belly against Helsinglond. Okay. We failed at killing him. And we can keep outbidding him in our campaign here. It's kind of like eBay, but without knowing when the auction is over. <laughs> uh, yes, now we must move forward and we will pay the little bit of gold to move forward. Our palace will be built eventually. Now, 
now. Let's re-seduce her. Um, okay, but she doesn't go for it, so... We might have lost our appeal. We never ge did get the Master Seducer thing, which is a bit of a shame. I also need to watch out for being stressed, because that's also bad. What are you here for? It's a tributary war. Got it. My goodness. Sweden is really not doing too well. Not our fault though. Oi! We took out our city and our trade post. That's very uncool. Okay, it is our problem. <laughs> The Great Ball. Okay. Patrician Nicholas of Gouldsmith will soon be hosting a Great Ball in his family palace, and every patrician family in the Republic has been invited except for ours. Our dynasty's relationship with the Goodsmith's family has been tense of late, as we are competing with them in several important markets. The decision is not to invite Stinker members of the Ball, and can only be seen as a grave insult. As we sit brooding in the chambers of our own palace, we wonder how to tackle the situation. Will we turn the ball away? Uh, will we turn up at the ball anyway, pretending there has been a mistake? Yes, ready my carriage. We will be there, whether or not they want us. We have fulfilled our ambition to groom an heir, which is good. First guy old enough. And, oh, whoa, hello. Look at that. That is fantastic. 21 intrigue, and he's paranoid. I mean... That's... That's a good one. A real good one. Let's see if we can't find him someone who doesn't have anything. Now only... Ah. There are some... She's also good in intrigue. Let's get that going. Um, right. We will appoint him our spy master. That's a no-brainer. I mean, look at the boy. 21. Are you joking? Um, have a quick look at the known plots here. Can't end this. Can't ask her to join. Shame. Oh, we'll leave them up. Would our spy master like to join, maybe? For now, he's still cheap, so let's buy his love. Okay, arriving at the ball, we show up at the Gulsum family palace with our entourage and make our way past posted guards before they can block our way. Music and laughter can be heard from inside the palace, but it seems to die out the moment we step inside. Hushed whispers, all that can be heard as everyone's eyes seem to focus on us. Grand Mayor Botstein, someone calls out. Patrician Nicholas emerges from the crowd with a smile on his face. How kind of you to join us. May I see your invitation? As I struggle for words, guards surround me and my party. No invitation? Ah, oh, that's a shame. With a small wave from Nicholas, the guards drag you all outside and throw you down the stairs of the entrance. Lying on our back in the dirt, we see Nicholas grinning down on us. Okay, this will be the start of a great vendetta between our two families. I've never had that. What's that? That's cool. Which one is it? This guy. What a fool. Huh. You stop backing this plot, you silly, silly boy. Oh no, he's ugly. Make him good with money then. Oh yeah, we need a new ambition. What should we have? Make a friend, become king of Sweden? Nah. Gain land for an unlanded son? Nah. Build a war chest. So we would need 500 gold to finish this. 
mean, yeah, sure, why not? Let's try this. Okay, so this is the start of a grand vendetta. I'm really curious to see all the events that might come up with that. I've never heard this before, but again, I've never played a lot of uh, Republics. And uh, no, we still don't want to help the peasants. Sorry, boys. 